Hello, this is Oksana Alabama, your favorite realtor in Mobile. Today, we're gonna have some questions about buying a house. Let's talk to a local lender. You want to hire a local lender whom you can come and visit in their office, ask questions, somebody who is available, you know, anytime, well, most of the time to you. Let's go meet Monica. Hello, Monica! Hello! <laughs> Welcome to my channel! <laughs> okay, guys, this is Monica. Hi! Monica, please tell us about yourself. How long you've been doing mortgages for people? Hello, I am Monica Owen. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I've been doing mortgage lending uh, for the last 28 years. This is all I have ever done. Uh, I have done every aspect of it. I've worked, I've owned my own company, mortgage company. I've worked for the big banks, three big banks, and now I'm here at D.R. Horton Lenders. D.R. Horton Lenders, we do D.R. Horton loans as well as the non-capital loans. So even when you get approved with us, uh, you're welcome to use our money to purchase something else. Okay, good. So if somebody wants to buy a house and they um, can't figure out how much money they need to bring to the table, um, what we should tell them First, what they should, of course, earnest money, one for 2000 but how do you explain them right about earnest money? Okay, so a rule of thumb is, if you want to get prepared to buy a house, and depending on what type of loan you're going to do, there's four different type of loans. You have your VA loans, those are 100% financing. You have your USDA loans that are 100% financing. You have your conventional loans, that's three or 5% down. And then you have your FHA loans, which is what most people get, the FHA loan, that's three and a half percent down. So a rule of thumb is, if you got 100,000 on house, do three and a half percent of that, you need $3,500. But always have an extra, because depending on what house you choose, the sellers typically will pay your closing costs, and then all you have to do is worry about your down payment. But you know, a hundred thousand dollar loan, if you got four or five thousand dollars in the bank, that would be great. Now, on the VA loans, that's veteran, you got to be a veteran to get the VA loan, that's 100% financing. And then on the USDA loan, you got to have certain credit scores for USDA loans, uh, there's income requirements for USDA loans. You know, most people cannot get a USDA loans because of the back end ratio requirements. Uh, but typically, a rule of thumb is you want to have a good three and a half percent or a good five percent in the bank, or you've got somebody that's going to get you the funds for your down payment. What if somebody says, mm, My mom going to give me ten thousand dollars as a gift? Do we need a proof? Do we need a letter that it's a gift from their mom? Okay, so on the gifts, if you do not currently have the funds in your account, absolutely you can get a gift from your, uh, you know, somebody in your family. Absolutely. They will have to show that they got the money in their bank account. And then once it moves from their bank account to where you're going to close, we will need a paper trail if we're going to use the gifter. Or if you already have it, great. We will verify your bank statement. It means that if your mama giving you money, she will have to show the lender her bank account. So if there is no way around it. She'll have to show that it's her money and they're moving to your account or title company escrow account. Correct. Any kind of funds used to buy a house in the United States since 2009, we have to do a paper trail on it. Paper trail. So paper trail means, again, where the money is at and where it's going to. We got to see it. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is uh, putting earnest money down, sometimes I have a hard time explaining people what is earnest money, how you would explain it to people. Okay. When you are trying to buy a property, always, always know that there's somebody else, another person or two or three, that's looking at that same house. 
when you do a contract, when Miss Oksana does a contract and you sign that contract, they will ask for earnest money. That's what that is. That earnest money holds the house for how many days that contract was written to. It allows for nobody else to come in there and take that house away from you before you do your closing. That is critical. It's on every single file. You got to pay earnest money. Now, that earnest money does go towards your down payment. So we too will be looking for a paper trail on the earnest money, where it came from and where it went to so that we can use it on your down payment. It will go towards your cost of your loan and your down payment. And the next thing you have to remember, you will have to pay an inspector unless you buy a new home and you don't want to pay an inspector. Correct. Now, home inspections, I would absolutely um, positively, positively recommend, recommend a home inspection. That's the absolute, you know, three to $500. The guy goes out to the property, checks everything out for you. However, always remember that whatever house you're looking at, that seller can back out if they want. If that home inspection or appraiser appraisal comes in and there's repairs needed in every case, the the seller, the owner of the property, would have to agree to do the repairs. They can decide that they don't want to sell the property to you and not do the repairs, just FYI. Um, but yes, home inspections are absolutely recommended on every single uh, purchase. And also, besides the inspection, you'll have to pay for appraisal. Appraisal is $500, right? Yes. Appraisals can be, depending on what kind of appraisal you're getting, that's the only thing that we require is what the appraiser says. Okay, so home inspection is something for you to know if there's anything wrong with the property. You can always make your purchase agreement contingent on the home inspection and those items being completed. Most of the time, the sellers will do those items. And if you know, they don't, you can back out and get your earnest money absolutely. back. Absolutely. If you can back out and get your earnest money back, not a problem. Uh, but absolutely home inspections are required and now the appraisers are what we require. That's where a certified appraiser goes out to the property and appraises it. He has a copy of the contract and he makes sure that that house can sell for the amount that's on that purchase contract. They are critical. They're Mobile County uh, appraisers. You know, they're not affiliated with us at all. Uh, we never know who's going out until we get the appraisal in. That protects you. So. So I had a situation where I was selling a condo and it, uh, asking price was 85. My buyers were ready to purchase for 85, mm -hmm. but appraiser came and said, no, 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 it's 80,000. So seller had to drop a price. Right. So In that's why we need appraiser to make sure you don't get too much too excited and that the you don't appraiser, Absolutely, The appraiser is critical. Uh, and again, her situation is, Purchase price said $85,000. Appraiser came out and said, no, it's $80,000. So the seller can agree to drop the price or the seller could come back and say, look, I'm not dropping my price. And then you would have to decide if you want to come up with that additional, you know, if you really want the house, you can come up with the additional $5,000 or you can walk away or the seller can walk away. Either or way. That's what can happen on that. So if you want to talk to a local lender, contact Monica. And unlike many lenders who charge 1% of the house price to do mortgage paperwork, Monica's uh, bank has a flat fee. Yes. And mind you, um, typically our fees are $9.95. It's the origination fee. And we don't have a lot of junk fees at all. None. Um, you know, sometimes the person may have a low credit score and we'll say, hey, we'll still do this loan for you. You may have to pay a discount, which is still a small amount, but I don't see that often at all. We charge one flat fee. Thank you for watching. If you have some questions, drop it in the comments and all information about Monica in the main comment. Have a nice day.